Oh, mighty Pharaoh, beloved of Ra, how fortunate you must feel. Your unprecedented rise to the throne of Egypt is the stuff of dreams. A richer reward could not be fashioned by gods or people. With your family's ascension, Egypt can make a new start. And perhaps we can all forget the horrors of the civil war. To mark this new beginning, you should build a fine new capital. Itiatau, with its abundant natural resources, is a perfect location. Using what the land has to offer, you can build a splendid city worthy of your dynasty's valor and dedication. To ensure the feats of your great dynasty are always remembered, you should build two majestic brick pyramids for yourself and your family, and a frightening sphinx to guard your tomb. A family with your achievements deserves no less. Keep in mind, though, that some in the country question the legitimacy of your rule. Many are still suffering the effects of the famine and grumble that you usurp the throne. If you relieve these people's misery and help them build their homes, you will certainly win their undying loyalty. You should try to provide for your new subject as well as you can to prevent these unfortunate people from taking up arms against you. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh, A New Era. We are here at Itiatawe. We are now Pharaoh, guys. We've made it all the way to the top. Let's take a look here. We need a population of 7,500, six stately manors. Culture rating is 60, monument rating of 41, prosperity rating is 60, and a kingdom rating of 85. Looking at our monuments, we need a sphinx, a medium mud brick pyramid, and a small brick good pyramid. As it says in the intro, we're going to have a lot of requests from us from other cities for meat and pottery and things of the nature. Let's go ahead and take a look at our pyramids first. Here's our medium. Nothing new there, just bricks with limestone. Even smaller there. And our sphinx, once again, is just a uh, sphinx just has to be carved down and then they just... Uh, Put wood up on that, so pretty easy. Let's take a look at our burial goods. We need a thousand grain, a thousand two hundred ivory, pottery, papyrus, and beer. So don't forget those. Looking at our services here, everything's normal. For food, we have grain, lettuce, pomegranate, flax, and cattle. So we have three type, well, four types of food really. Grain and cattle. We also need grain for bricks, which we're gonna get to. We can do limestone and a clay pit and a reed gatherer for our basic gathering. And then we have uh, papyrus, pottery, brewery, weaver, and brickworks. So we can pretty much make everything we need. Um, we don't have access to barley. We'll have to import it, but uh, not too hard. We have four gods. We have Bast, Osiris, Path, and Set, with Bast being our primary deity, our patron deity. There has been some changes now with this patch that your patron deity is 400 and your local are 900 for your temples. We've already looked at monuments and entertainment is the same. Let's take a look at the world map. We have Byblos up north, which will sell us ivory. That's what we need for, um, of course, our stately manners and to um, burial goods. Minnefer will buy beer from us. That's about it. And this is kind of useless. Uh, Minat Khufu will buy bricks, but you probably won't have too many of those to sell. Doklo Oasis, however, will buy 4,000 linen and 2,500 papyrus from us. That is our primary exports right there, just to this one city. And then they will also sell us wood. We have Buhin down south, which will sell us bar uh, barley, and this is our only water trade route. All right. So what I'm thinking of doing is starting on this side, building my city out over here, my first one, and then branching out up here and putting on the north east side and putting up two large um, cities up here where I can evolve them into three by three. One of the reasons, especially I want to start down here is uh, it's closer to the Kingdom Road where traders and stuff, because we're going to have a bunch of land traders. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and go in there. We're going to open Doc Loasis right now. Um, that way I can just plan around having that money uh, and not go into debt. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and just build off of this right over here. Um, we're going to farm here, bring everything up. So I think I'm going to set my city up right here. So since we already have one down there, I'm going to go over seven. I'm going to go down 17. 
and then over eight, which is going to be seven because of that one right there. My entrance is going to be right here. And then one and four. We'll go ahead and get rid of this for now. So now that we are connected to the kingdom road, we'll just leave it like that. Then we're going to go down one more. Then over nine. And down our five. There we go. I think I'm going to branch out this way and go down. I don't want to go this way and, and back myself up against the floodplain. I will put some uh, work camps over there, I think. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So it's going to not count that one right there. Let's bring that up. Get rid of that for now. We're just going to get rid of that for now. I'm going to save money here in the beginning by uh, not going and just destroying everything that's in the way. Go ahead and wait. I have been having issues with this map. This is actually my third time playing through this map. I finally got through it and beat it. And then uh, I realized it did not record my audio correctly. Um, it did not record the game audio at all. So I have to restart. OK, lots of fun. And this mission is having, at least this one so far, is having a bug with um, how you would uh, farm farming. Once I get into farming, I'll talk about it a little more in case you're having the same issue. Let's go ahead and delete that. Put our basic services in. Remember that firehouses and architects, uh, I'm sorry, firehouses and police stations have negative desirability. So we want those towards the middle. And we do have reeds, so we're going to put down an apothecary. Let's not forget our water. OK, and then our physician, since this is our entrance, we're going to go right here. <laughs> then I'm going to put my patron deity of fast right here. OK, let's start building our houses in. I'm going to go with quite a few houses because um, I need to expand pretty quickly. We're going to have to uh, start doing resource gathering really fast. Once again, I do have global labor pool on, guys. So if you're not just uh, you can see how I set this up in my tutorial housing tutorial version two. And you'd see how I set this up without having global labor pool. Since it seems I'm still getting quite a few comments saying it's not working for me. That's the reason why. I just prefer to play that way. I played through the normal Pharaoh. It's just how I like to do it and put that right there. So I'm thinking for early exports, I might actually go across the river and just do papyrus since I don't actually have to farm and do all that. And actually, if we look at it, papyrus sells for a little bit more than linen does. 165 versus 160. We can't export as much, but we're going to go ahead and just set both of those to export one over zero right now. We have our basic city in. Let's go ahead and unpause, turn up to 1.5. And then go straight down like so. I'm going to put the dock right here. So I'll put my ferry right here and right here. So and I'm going to line this with basically storage yards all around here so things can go across pretty easy. And we have a place to store. We'll put our dock right there, plus clay pits and everything else is going to go up there. Okay, so we're going to extend this up. I want to go, actually, we'll go one over. I want to go too far. Let's go up about like that. That's our farthest point. One, two. Um, let's see, 12, 13 sounds good. That way it leaves us room right there. Five and then back one more. Roadblock that for now. And I think I just want to start with. We'll start with just. I think three reed gatherers. All right, sounds like we already got it looks like we already got our people in, so we will put our architects post there. Mm, don't really want to block that in. We'll leave that one there, so we'll just put our firehouse right there. We can put that storage yard. Right. We don't want to block them in. Let's see. 
right, I think, right there. Because this is where the dock's going to be. So if we bring this over, this is where I'm going to put my clay pits. We can roadblock down here. We can also do farms over here. We'll just do our firehouse and our architect's post right there. We're going to tell this to accept papyrus. And then let's put in... I think we're going to start with just... Let's do four. No, let's do five. How are we looking on people? So, okay. We got to get the gods in. What I want to do is I'm going to leave this one over here blank. So I'm going to go up this way. I think I'm just going to line it just like so. I'm not going to leave a space. I'm not too worried about desirability. And I'm not going to expand these into a three by three. So I don't really mind. This is going to hurt pretty bad with the money. Let's move this back. Let's go Osiris. No, I did not want a temple. Oh, that's going to hurt a little bit. I didn't want to put one out on the bass, so we're good now. Bass, everybody's up to 900. Local and patron are up to 900. Oh, I did the same temple twice. I did Osiris twice. That hurts. All right, well. I love you, Osiris. Give me better food, please. <laughs> All right, so there we go on that. Looking good. Just waiting on them to start making us some money. I don't want to go any further really than that. I think I'm going to put in some clay pits just to get things going. Not too many, I think. One. Can I put them on the other side? Yeah. Two, three. So we'll do three clay pits for now. And then I'm going to put put four potters in and that will supply us with you know what I'm actually just going to do three because I'm going to need more clay for brickworks anyway three potters should supply pretty much my whole city with pottery I want to say I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue um let's see here if we do okay I don't want to spend any more money until we come on buy some stuff please yeah there we go okay go ahead and turn turn it down a little bit on this guy here i want you to accept half or get half i'm sorry get half and then get half of beer i know i don't have beer yet i'm just planning ahead what i'm going to do is tell this here to accept pottery so i'm basically just doubling up and i'm gonna do that for all of my resources Do this here. Tell this to accept play. We will need to overproduce it. All right, we need employees, so let's go ahead and fill the rest of these in. Okay, that should be plenty because we're going to start farming next. I think I'm going to start with, since I can't get um, Osiris buffs in the beginning, I think I'm going to start with uh, just meadow farming. And I'm going to do grain because I need uh, the straw to make a cattle eat. I'm going to actually do the irrigation first, I think. I walk that in. And maybe let's bring that down like so. We have room for over there, just planning ahead. Let's get back to the Okay. Probably right there would be a little better. And this should get irrigation. 
because it'll it'll work caddy corner on those i found water lift in i do have off-road water lift so that doesn't need to be connected and roadblock that for now excellent so that is and these don't require ooh, minus 107 really Oh, I guess I didn't unpause and let people move in, huh? Oh, 132. I need them to come buy stuff. He should make it there before the month's out. Assuming he makes it there, we're good. If we don't make it there, we're not good. The tension is on. I think we're good. No, we're not. Okay, we are. Whew. I, uh, I got a little too feisty on my building. All right, so those people moved in. We're good. A little bit for now. Let's put in one right here. One right here. We're going to do grain. Get all. Grain. Accept all. Oh, and then this guy here should be straw. Well, let's put one right next to it. Let's say straw. Excellent. We're getting, uh, we're getting pottery. Yep. See how we're doing on papyrus up here. Awesome. All right. So now I think we need to start linen. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to get food. I'm basically going to stockpile like two grand or two storage yards before I do any type of, uh, I think feeding my people. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, that's because we're pretty much at our cap with this line. So I will have to start feeding people pretty quickly. But next up is going to be cattle. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three. We'll put three cattle in for now. We'll do one more of just meat. There goes all the straw. Yeah, cattle take a lot of straw. Right. What's our gods looking like? Everybody's okay for now. I think I want to. I don't have enough to do it yet, but one, two, three. Extend that to. rid of that that in and let's just bring this over i don't okay as soon as we get some more money i'm gonna put this in well if he's gonna go buy i want him to buy first before he didn't buy too much i think we'll, i think we'll be okay put that in we'll pause let's throw a festival to you fast That was not much. It's only 50% fertile. You see, this is irrigated here, even though but that's just farmland in general. All right, it is January. Here comes our next harvest. Doing good. You see, they'll they'll bring it over. All right, a city requests goods. Oh, great Pharaoh. Uh, city was set request that you said 600 potter in eight months. Okay, here you go. I'm waiting to sell money or sell money to to sell stuff to get money that way we can oh come on Ooh, right down to the wire there we go 2697 so let's put in since we're going to expand we need to put in our bazaars here i'm gonna do this while i'm paused because i'm gonna tell them not to buy anything except for grain and pottery and the same over here Because I don't want them to buy ivory and linen. And if I don't set it now, I'll forget. We printed uh, plenty of grain over here. So we'll get that first bit going. Let's throw a festival for Bast. Excellent. But I don't have any weavers yet, but I will. Let's actually take a look at that. It's July. We're going to have our next inundation soon. 
And I, you know, I wonder if I can, well, it won't really get diddly squat from the irrigation, so probably not worth it. We have plenty of farmland and more metal land down here, so we could just start expanding. But let's, you know, I don't want to line this with temples. Um, I will do some, I think, three by three statues. So I'm going to leave a link right there. And then line this up with farms. All right, so if we have grain over there, we could technically put... We want more grain. Do we want to worry about... Let's work about exports now because money hurts. But we got one, two, three, four, five... So, easiest way is just run a road like that. And then, uh, where are we at? Money, okay. Again, we can hit that caddy corner, so we should be fine. And I don't think I could get a road. Let's see. Yeah, should be good. Nice. So, that is... All the flax will ever need. I went way overboard. I thought I was building grain. Yeah, let's undo that. And we'll run this to right there. That straight down. And then for these guys, we'll just do that number. Yeah, I am not going to have any employment because that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah. That was a mistake. All right, so we're going to have more people moving in. So that is all the flax. Thank you, Set. All right, new trade route to a set. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there we go. Oh, great Pharaoh. Famine has stuck cargo or oasis, and the people are starving. Six, 600 meat. Well, we got 1,200, so here you go, buddy. It's almost like I was planning that out. Let's take a look at what's set. They will sell a whole lot of nothing. They'll sell us copper, but other than that, we can make everything else here. We don't need the other stuff, so... Not too worried about it. All right, I don't know if I could really get more over there, but we could start farming. Let's. So the issue with this map so far has been the work camps. One, two, three, four, five. Six to be good for now. Eight. That yep, that'll work. Remember, you can irrigate the uh, the Nile here, and it will provide an extra bonus. All right, so there's a lot more grain. The reason I am sticking with grain, like I said, is I need the straw for cattle. And I need the straw for uh, bricks. And what's our... We're still at negative four. We're still filling up down here, so we got plenty. Let's go ahead and put work camps. I want to box myself in over there. We'll put one and two. And I think these will just burn. So we'll put our firehouse right there. I just hope on this next inundation we go good. So, excellent. Let's actually go ahead and throw a festival to Osiris. Thank you. You do get kind of subpar inundations. Very rarely would you get a full inundation. But there's just so much farmland. It's not too much of an issue. Oh, great pharaoh. Doclo Oasis awaits the arrival of 300 meat. So here you go, Doclo Oasis. And there's my price of hubris because I was so busy doing everything else that I forgot to do that. You know, it's not it's not a 7 uh, wolf 7 7 pharaoh game unless I burn something down. You know, there goes a uh, there goes my potter. Let's go ahead and put him in there. All 
All right. I once again got busy with other things and I forgot to put in even more of my stuff. So let's put not, not right there because, OK, well, let's do this. You are going to be. We got beer and pottery and now we're going to do. Um, get half of linen and get half of papyrus, even though I know we don't have it yet. And then the next one here will be. That should be everything from there. So now we will accept flax. And these weavers are quite expensive. So we're going to wait to get some more money. So here is the issue where our workers will not go out to the farmland. It is something to do with priority. I have not said any priority, but I swear it is something to do with uh, priority workers. So let's take a look. Um, Nothing's changed. Let's look at our overseer of the workers. I swear it has something to do with how they mess things up. Because we actually have overemployment. So let's save. Save over this bug, because it's almost like... We're going to load. And now they'll send their workers out. Before they would not. And this is why I like flood farming on this. I don't know if it's just this map, or if it's every map. But that is absolutely insane that I have to do that basically every year. Let's look at the gods. We have Bass is going to be pissed in a second. Half and Set are already angry. There's Set and Half. So looking at them now, that's 1,800. We're good. But Bass is only at 900. Um, okay, they will buy a little more from us. But not too much. So as much as I want to. One, two, three. Is that right? One, two, three. That is. Okay. So I'm setting this up for another temple lane, basically. Let's get rid of that. The problem is, is what we're doing is we're we're tapping out on our our resources now. So I think Bass is just gonna have to be a little upset for a bit and hopefully not punish us. We need to get some weavers in, like ASAP. Is there a hundred? And do I have a place for linen? I do. It's over there. It'll work. Excellent. They'll harvest double. We're still uh, not in the great phase for food. And... One, two, three, four. Go ahead and put that right there. We'll get something out of that. So hopefully now we'll start selling linen because uh, we're capping out on papyrus every year. As soon as we start getting money, we will, um, roadblock that one too. There we go. A little extra food. Let's throw a festival to Bass, so hopefully she won't burn my crap down while we wait on some money. It is December. All right, January. Let's see if everybody's going to start. There we go. OK, so this year they're going to do it. Sometimes they just won't do it. All right, we're starting to get more money. But well, we need to put in. We need to start taxing our people as well, because that's just free money, basically. Right. Here we go. Come on. 7,000. We went from 2,000 to 7,000. That's really good. So now we will put our temple complex in. I think we're going to just pop it right here. I can line all of this with temples. And now Bass is basically totally happy with me. Everybody else should be good. 
and we'll we will do this as well because that will um healing so good health so our our uh, god will heal as they pass through and then athor which is joy love and festivity keep people a little happier so they will um not get as unhappy which is really an issue with my type of building but sometimes it can be let's put that in so they will evolve um right there there whoops undo that there then i'll put my normal birds in okay as soon as we get more money next i want to put them in uh build a palace actually we might be able it's a thousand five yeah it's a thousand five start taxing excellent could use the uh, food buff would be nice what is this to accept green okay so we need one more we should accept Lydon. we're doing okay on meat no, it seems silly, but these these meat requests are a pain in the butt. Let's go ahead and put one here and we will tell it to get half of meat. And we'll just get half of uh, pomegranate as well. Because I think I'm going to do pomegranates next. Excellent. Speaking of that, they want 500, so we'll go ahead and deliver that. And then we will tell this to buy meat and to buy meat. Seems like I have a lot of meat now, but I'm going to start using all this straw here soon. Excellent. We did get all, pretty much a full inundation. Very nice. So the beginning of this mission, honestly, is just getting your feet on the ground. And then um, once your feet, like once you get money and everything's coming in, you're good to go. Then focus on everything else. And until then, you're kind of just like struggling to get through everything. We can. These are very expensive. 650. We can put those in. Then let's put our. Juggler, we'll put that there, put that there, and then our juggler right there. We're getting, we have a little bit more workers. We can start our, well, let's, let's go ahead and actually do beer. We'll put this right here. Send that over. All right, so we want to get barley. The only thing I'm going to be bringing in is barley, so it doesn't really matter too far where I put it. We're going to put one right here for beer. Then we're going to put another one. Right. Here for barley. We're starting to get plenty of money, so what I'm actually going to import. Oh, let's go ahead and go to the trade map to. Wuhan. And then we are going to import 3,200, which is a full storage yard of bar of uh, barley to through. It did start making beer. And as soon as we get that barley in, there's nothing you can do about those. Oh, your people are sick things. All right, now that we have more, let's put before I forget, let's put our Dynas mansion in. Put it right. Village palace. Sorry. We'll just pop it over here. Axe collector there in the bottom left. Now we'll start getting taxes as well. We'll also trade more meat. Not that it matters. All right. So now that these are good, I'm going to tell these don't buy meat. I'm going to run out of meat. 
recipe. We've already emptied our meat storage. It's just produced so slow. And speaking of that, so let's put, I'm gonna put a storage yard right here to tell it to accept all bricks. And then I'm going to start, we're gonna start making bricks ASAP. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll put eight in for now. Excellent. Have we received our barley? We have. The half a storage yard, basically. 1,600. Let's put in our brewers. Um, we'll start with four. I'm just going to be supplying this. And if we need more, we'll expand out. Okay, let's put in... You know, it's about time, actually, to start building our new... Our, our extra... Food. Or not food, I apologize. Our extra cities up here. Because I'm going to start reaching cap down here for a bit until I can move up a little more. So we're going to go... We'll go up five. We can basically just. There we go. We did that. I'll just extend that out for now and I can put all my stuff right here. Let's go up five one more time. Count over. Eight. Go up 17. It's more. And across eight. Two, three. Up five, over three, up five, and over three. And I messed that up. That should not be like that. It should be over here. Okay, easy fix. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So this right here should be nine in the middle. And then skipping one, we can just go up 17, but this will be eight. I just did that so I don't have to count it. 17 and back over eight. Everything matches up. Go five, three, five, and three. You look pretty familiar. There. I'm sorry, I actually messed that up again. So it's three, one, two, there. We go and that's the entrance like that so let's put water architects post fire please and pocket theories All right, they want seven limestone. We can work on that. I'm actually gonna do that here soon. So what I'm gonna do is off of this, I'm basically gonna put my temples over, or my monuments over here, and it's gonna be completely separate from everything. And the way I'm gonna get my resources over is I'm gonna tell all the storage yards to get. And, um, it sounds weird, but that way my farm, my work camps from my temple will not be taken away from my farm since it's not connected. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. That's nine. Then. Nine, that's 18. One, two, three, four. All right, so that should be 16 in the middle. It is, okay. So what I mean by that is... Architects post. Firehouse. How bad are we? Okay, I'll wait for more people to move in. Oh, we need limestone. Oh, yeah. Let's finish that first. <laughs> I want to just put one for now. Except all limestone. We're going to put in... 
One, two, three. We'll do one four. That will just be the architect's post right there and a roadblock to keep in. They move it in yet up here? Good. Do some more. So I can keep these unevolved and evolve them up as I need to. All right, so some of these these grains actually do not have a place to go. So let's put one right there, one right there. We will accept all grain. You know what? You can accept all grain too. So actually, I'll tell you to get all. You can just accept for now. So now they have a place to go. So cracking along. Okay, we have plenty of unemployment. It looks like our clay is not going faster. Oh, more wages. So the kingdom now pays 31. All right, that's fine. We'll pay 31 as well. And let's take a look at our industries. We're going to go to clay and we're going to stockpile. So what we're going to do up here, is I'm going to put the monument. Put the first one right here. Let's roadblock this off. So now that we have these storage yards here, so I can go one, two, three, and I will tell these for bricks to get all. And even though they're not connected to the main city, they will send out push carts to go get them. As you can see, they're going to just go over that way and then go get them and they'll bring them back. The reason I did three is because it just takes forever if you don't do it that way. Beer is going okay. We definitely could use more. Oh, never mind. We're fine over here. Take a look at that clay. Almost. There it is. All right, let's stop stockpiling it now. We're using it again. Can we put more clay in? No? Yes. We have our meat going, slowly building back up. The thing is, we just don't get enough straw. Excellent. Now let's put some work camps up here. It's our population. Oh, they're getting angry. 156, we got plenty. So let's start with one, two, three, four. And then monuments. I'm going to start importing wood as well. We're going to go stonemasons. Actually, we'll go bricklayers since we're not doing a sphinx yet. One, two, three, four of those. Two carpenters. And this will accept wood. We're just going to import. Is our money doing good? Let's go ahead and import. 1,000. With the fields underwater, I work now. All right, for since glory we sent them stuff, they now want to send us money. Thank you. That works. More limestone, please. Bricks are definitely the harder part to get out of this. All right, so speaking of bricks, oh, great Pharaoh. Mina Kufi requests 1,200 bricks. Here you go, buddy. We have a lot. How's this coming up here? All right, these are full. So let's go ahead and feed these. One, two. And then. You know what? These are going to burn down. I swear I do that too much. So let's put. Are 
architects post and our firehouse before I lose all my food and everything. So this will get half of pottery, get half of beer, and this will get half of linen and get half of papyrus. We're going to tell these to buy none except for beer or grain and pottery and we'll do the same. We're coming along nicely. We need, okay, we have five of these. So that is 4,500. Um, let's check our kingdom rating. 73, it's kind of low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in my, my palace. That way I can start gaining money. And, um, that way I can give gifts to Egypt, basically now since I'm Pharaoh. We collect a hundred a month. Thank you for the money. All that grain went bye bye. Look at that. Well, start farming up here. That's what I plan on doing. Is it blood season? It is. When you haven't got a buff, let's ask Osiris for one, please. Thinking I'm gonna go out this way. The block right there. And we are going to start farming pomegranates. Let's see here. Can we put water lift right here? No. Right there though. So if I do that. We can make this work. One, two, three, four, five, and I guess six, just like that. Let's go over with our irrigation like so. The road down to there. One, two, three. Four. Oh. Work. Five. No. Okay, so I can just get five there. So those are all pomegranates. I'm going to tell you to get all pomegranates. Because I, I need I need double food up here and not down south. Let's see here, stonemasons. Okay, so now we need stonemasons. Two, three. That should work. And while we're doing that, we can actually probably put the sphinx in as well. Right there. Oops. Right there. So to give them two projects basically to work on. Oh, great Pharaoh. They have already carved the Sphinx. Very nice. That went pretty quickly. Still waiting on more bricks to finish the big guy over here. Basically just means we need more straw. We need more clay. We get more clay in. Let's see. Can we? No. No. Maybe. Kind of janky, but. Well, this. We'll do that. These will just clap, so we'll do that. That should pretty much solve our clay problems for a while. Let's take a look up here. Right, they are at the beer stage. Plenty of beer up here. Let's go ahead and focus on this top one. Buy beer. Buy beer. They need entertainment.
those there. Hopefully these will fulfill that. I do want to go ahead and let's see, we'll put that right there. We're going to start accepting ivory. To that ivory, there we are. Accept all. Let's go to our uh, our world map. Biblos, land trade route, ivory. We have plenty of money, but let's say for now we're gonna import. Maintain a thousand six hundred half a storage yard. This is going good. Three thousand two hundred. So we can start giving money to get that kingdom rating. What do they need? Nope. Okay. Oh, we already raised it. So put our library down right here. And let's just make sure that we're good on our wages. Kingdom pays thirty four. All right. Well, we pay thirty five. Come to my city. And I think I'm going to put the Senate house right here and then like some gardens right there. So unfortunately, I got to move that right there. Get rid of that. And I do want to put a Senate house here just so I don't have to worry about it because they're going to say there's not enough entertainment. There's some, but not enough. So we'll put that bad boy right there. And we'll put a kitty statue. Right there. Let's put some. Oh, let's put our architects post back in so we don't lose our temples. Should be good to go. They need a courthouse, which I'm surprised I didn't have in already. So let's add courthouses everywhere to all of our loops. One there, one there, and one here. So we're going to give that a second to start working. And then once that works, we will add in what's our unemployment? 185. Doing good. We're going to get rid of our police station here because we have a courthouse. We're going to add in our dentist. So let's look up here. Do the same. Get rid of that one. Uh oh, wrong one. Get rid of that one. And we'll add a dentist there because that is a requirement for evolution. And then we can go ahead and throw in a shine. Oops. Osiris. Just watching these to make sure they're good. Single God. OK, so. What I was going to do for that is. Let's see here, right here. Changing. I'm trying something new, changing it up a little bit. We're going to put Osiris right here. And uh, we're going to put our mortuary right here. Messed up our scribal school should have went right there. I'm gonna delete that. And then we're going to put in half right here. So now we have three gods, two types of food. They should evolve up greater statue. So let's go ahead. There's your bricks. Thank you. Let's turn that back on now. And let's go one. Did I tell these to buy ivory? I did not. Buy ivory as well, please. They should evolve up pretty quickly. There we go. One more. There we go. So they are stately manners. That is the highest those we can go. So we're going to do the same right there. It's one, two, three, four and five, six. So that meets our requirements right there. Wages have fallen throughout the kingdom Well, people work for less. Well, you know what? I'm going to con continue to pay my people higher because I want people to move here. Because uh, I'm not really hurting for money, and it just makes everybody happier. So that's fine. So. We have... We're right in the middle of the inundation. Let's go ahead. We're going to get rid of... This clay pit, because I think we're, we got, we got enough clay right now. 
I'm going to bring this down. Fortunately, it's going to be green yet again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Because the people of Egypt are pretty much just request meat and grain, it seems. So, come on, road. Let's irrigate these. Those are good. Those are good. And those are good. Then let's put some work camps down. Brick Pyramid is finished. Oh, great Pharaoh. There it is. And this one's almost done as well. Just waiting for them to put the finishing touches. Looks like it's going pretty quickly. I'm going to the monument Excellent. to shape this stone. Okay, so that's all of our monuments finished. Let's go ahead and take a look and review. We have everything we need. We have our population and our housing. So all we got to do is dispatch our last grave good right there, and that's it. Through your unselfish dedication to providing for your people, Egypt now accepts you as the rightful pharaoh and looks to your dynasty to produce equally benevolent and resourceful heirs. All right, this mission was completed in 262 months on hard. We have a culture rating of 70, a prosperity rating of 100, a kingdom rating of 87, six stately banners, and a population of 8,248. Let's go ahead and pause here and take a look at our city. We have our two pyramids and our sphinx right here next to each other. And then we have our initial loop here, our three by threes. They're up to roughly fancy residences most around. Um, I think they're pretty much all around that fancy residence area. You can see my production loops here. I started deleting brickworks because I needed more uh, employees, but these were all brickworks, and you can just see all the bricks sitting there. So we just needed so much, I was way overproducing them. We have a couple of mortuaries down here. Let's take a look up here. So I have just more food up here and pomegranates with some work camps, and this is, of course, my papyrus factory. And then here's our double loop. You can see this in my housing uh, three by three tutorial. And these are up to stately manners, which is the highest before they'll go into a four by four. And we just did the uh, the middle loop right here. And I just went ahead and just did a couple more because I had the extra population at the time. So I just did three more three by threes. They're just looped around like so. All right. So, yeah. Um, 
just watch your floodplains now, guys, with the new patch. Make sure that your workers are going, especially around January time frame. I found when I was watching them and January took over, they wouldn't send workers. So I'd have to create a manual save, not an auto save, load that one. And then they would start sending workers again, destroying things or putting out more, um, more work camps did not work. And you can see how my monuments here are sequestered or separate from the rest of my city. And the way I move these over here is I tell these to get bricks and they will send two walkers across the, uh, you know, the area without even needing a road to go get bricks. So that allows me to have my farm or my work camps up here just be for my pyramids and not for my floodplains and vice versa. All right, guys, so that was it away here on Pharaoh, a new era. We are now the Pharaoh and looking forward to moving on. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.